the heartfelt sorrow of a financial guru. Knowing that the problem with the black community, the streets, is a lack of education, a lack of information. And unfortunately, unfortunately, my unfortunate past has put me in a lane of my own where I developed and learned and experienced things that can help everybody. You feel me? It's like my night in Miami, you know what I'm saying? That movie where they, you know, put the great black minds together just to see what they would talk about. That's why I'm a big dog, bro. There's not a room, a corporate room. Look, when you go do corporate shit, I'm the guy you want. You want the, a nigga in there standing on the table talking like he's beating his chest, telling you, I could beat them numbers. This is a numbers game, man. And that's what I've been explaining to y'all. So let's go to my background. Because a lot of these bosses out here that's trying to control the black community work for white men. I ain't never done that, y'all. No. And they mess with me about, oh, man, they, you know, you owe that child support for that, for, for that child that your baby mom took away from you. Let's get to that, though. Why I'm a financial guru? <laughs> I got to work with other people. To make my dough. You see what I'm saying? So I'm honesty the best policy, bro. So the first thing you get, but better not get fucked up about me. I'm a man of my goddamn word. And then, oh, that's Killer Cole. He, he, he. All that come after that, bro. So let's get these women out the way first. Because they ain't never held accountable. Bitch can lie, cheat, deceit, switch in the middle of, uh, of the third inning. She a female, we got to protect that bitch. Especially if she bad black, she got some special powers that she ain't never achieved or accomplished nothing. But she get a pass, ruining all these black men. And you got to look why it ain't no greats. The world's a dangerous place and I'm a crazy motherfucker to even come online and say, I know what I know and say what I say. But here's the fucked up part about all you niggas. We all thinking it. So if I'm a hero and y'all giving me credit for addressing things that need to be addressed, why you a bitch then? Why you know? I know we know, but we ain't doing nothing about it. Now let's get to this hood rat situation. Hey, bro, I ain't never stuck my dick in no bitch that ain't made of six figures, man. Straight like that, man. You still under the, the impression, because you was raised by a single woman, that you not the prize, my nigga. And that's where your hidden aggression come from because you got a bitch treating you like you supposed to be up her ass or something. Nah, man, we special. You know what I'm saying? We're very compassionate, empathetic, intelligent, understanding, and sacrificial. And what I mean by that, most of us black men, we like, man, I'll take the L for my bitch. When you the king and she should be taking the L for you, but let's... Get point. Let's get back <laughs> to my origin story. Bro, I could probably do 20000 on an account on Amazon, bro. Hit the, hit the button. Bro, I'm the sex toy king online. You know why? Look at that. You don't even know what that is, bro. But you can get online and sell something like this. You get it for 50 cent, turn around and sell it for 49 goddamn 99, bro. See? I don't even like you niggas that try to make money. Let's make money off the ghetto. They We broke. They ain't got nothing. Why don't we just sell expensive shit to people who already live in that lifestyle and only want to buy expensive goddamn shit? Oh, it's the psychology behind this situation that we in. See what I'm saying? It's the psychology in it, Dad. And I'm trying to explain it. And then you get these haters because now niggas is like, he bigger than me. See, you always come with, with the problem with black men is we don't ever, we we don't agree. We we disagree. Oh, it, it, if it's facts and I can prove it, that's what we going with. Period, point blank, the light bearer. We are the people of the light. You it don't matter what the package look like. If it's right, it's right. Can you live that life? You see what I'm saying? Can you really put your money, where your, your mouth, where your money at? 
it, man. Listen, before I got all this, I could only afford one of these things because I was the genius in the room. See, I used to work for these big churches, these powerful churches. And I was their secret weapon, bro. They stamped me the golden child. The shit they wanted to do. Here's the problem. The shit they wanted to have like this and live in this area, they wanted to do in God's name. But with my gifts. But they didn't want to pay me. They just wanted to use my brain and intelligence. Listen, they was paying speakers from powerful churches in Los Angeles. Like you can just look them up online. These dudes is famous for their evangelism, they church stuff, but they about their millions. They own some money getting shit with the church. And this what hurt me about them, too. Because they ain't out here trying to help everybody. <laughs> you going, they want the niggas who got their shit together. Don't bring no niggas around who ain't got, who can't, 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 who can't, who can't contribute to our coffers. We don't care about saving them help. Ah, it, we don't want everybody. But, hey, with my game, with, with who I am and what I know, for sure what I do every day. Oh, I done made rich white people, bro. I done helped people buy houses, single moms buy houses off this legitimate business. These niggas hating on me, foe, and tried to extort me for it and try to control. Like, you can figure these niggas get out of prison and think they going to just put a control cap and make me do their bidding. Don't buy toys and... Comic books, nigga. Buy guns for the hood. Y'all finally bought some guns for the hood and them niggas went out and killed kids. That's why the whole 6 9 in jail right now. Ta-da. Nah, nigga. We buying houses and that's it. We buying real estate. You see what I'm... You ain't on what I'm on, bro. You see what... Because if you was and you was a solid nigga, bro, I would have put a, a house in your name. Nah, I'm gonna do it. My, man, my baby mama said, remember when you tried to buy me a house? Yeah, bitch, you know how much it would be worth now with your dumb ass and you homeless. You ain't got shit. If you don't got shit as a parent to give to your kids, you the problem, not them. These other people, bruh, I swear, everybody who live in this area code, my nigga, it's a reason this area code is so expensive and it's sought after. Everybody in this area code, man, they kids successful already. Yeah, ain't got to close my eyes. Trust fund babies. Do you understand why I don't fuck with you niggas? I got the choice of all you motherfuckers is dope fiend gangbangers stealing and robbing each other. Or over here, your real family all graduating from college, being doctors and lawyers and shit. No fucking cap. This shit, they got this shit down like it's a... Hey! You can't jump in water without getting wet. That's what I always tell you. Y'all niggas around the wrong people. Corrupting y'all own communities. Letting that bullshit in, man. Them niggas wouldn't be in jail if you was like, oh, bro, you on that. Oh, psh, that's whack. You see what I'm saying? I get to go to at least one college ceremony a year, bro. Because I'm a mentor to niggas that I let them know, bro. I don't tolerate, bro. I teach you like my son. I'll turn my back on your ass, nigga, if you want some bullshit. Uh, nigga, you better go get a college degree. If you got a college degree, bro, I'll pay for your. I'll buy. You can have anything. Go get a degree. I'm a worship and honor and nigga. You you in the hood? You went to prison? I I hate you, niggas. Your son going to jail. You lived a life of crime and you couldn't keep that nigga out of jail, bro. Ninety nine percent of the Asian community, the Jewish community. Can guarantee their kids is going to be successful, contributing citizens in the world. Y'all niggas ain't figured it out left yet. And you know, I've dated a lot of, like, uh, that's another thing my hating ass baby mama said to me. You, just because you date a bitch in a certain field don't mean that you, you going to be and learn what your, what your partner know. Because they're going to come back and confide and ask you for advice. And then let's keep it real, bro. I'm a big dog because I sit at the top. 
It's not what just I know. It's just what my people and my partners know. That's why I don't fuck with you. Stop making it act like, oh, y'all extra cool. You don't know nothing. Unless it's about going to get some Section 8, getting on a waiting list, bitch. Getting some pills to sell to your friends. To set nigga drug dealing that. Fuck ass niggas. Get the fuck out of here hating on everybody. That's why it ain't no community. Bro, we used to be like a extended family. Now niggas is hating on everybody. I don't think don't nobody want to come around each other. Might have to smoke. Nigga, when you look on the news and they say motherfucker got shot, you can close your eyes and say it was a black dude. It's so fucking normal. To them, it's going to be shocking. Show me a white man around America, Asian man around America that just got shot. The Indian man. Man, yeah, right. That shit might happen once once in a blue moon over some... Oh, that was an isolated incident. Bro, it's going to be something happened by some broke niggas that's hopping out, popping off at each other at a stoplight for nothing. And y'all don't understand it's a few niggas that ain't that's broke that think they're going to be successful by keeping this shit circulating, you dumb motherfuckers. Cause they revel in it. It's some devils out here that ain't going nowhere. Yeah, that nigga get down. That nigga, man, that bitch is on section A. That bitch ain't leaving. She got that motherfucking five bedroom. She ain't gonna do what she gotta do to say, fuck y'all section eight, nigga. I'ma go pay motherfucking six thousand dollars for my five bedroom. This bitch getting a fucking you see what I'm saying? Chilling in hot tubs, having the whole hood come. Bro, that just bring down the neighborhood. Man, shout out to Fulsom. Y'all, I'm telling you, bro, I'm an econ economist. I'm a geologist, bro. Fulsom, they said, okay, we going to slide past the niggas, the Mexicans, and the bumps. Because we got to take certain areas and, 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 and let low income in. Nigga, they said, it's a clause, right? And I'm going to tell all y'all who might be building... Developments, how to keep the fuck bitches that's gonna bring the fuck niggas around out your neighborhood. This is what happened in the Thomas. Cause everybody first moved to the Thomas, start buying homes, and then they start sectionating them out. And now you got a fucking five hundred thousand dollar home and a bitch who ain't who, who can't even make two thousand dollars a month live next to you like she the bomb. <sighs> Throwing parties, the kids all in your yard, fucking up shit. Cause and bringing crime, bring it, man. Why you think it's so many fucking shootings and nice ass Natomas, bro? If you as old as me, we know the Natomas used to be a, a floodplains. Then they start building them houses, and all the 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 young bitches who was getting their money up moved there. So all the hood rats when they built, nigga, all they got now, only thing they build now is apartment complexes for low income women. That's why all y'all niggas running in. These bitches ain't gonna do nothing, kick you out, and be fucking with another nigga in there. Ain't that where I, that's ain't that where you caught your bitch cheating? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Let's get on this real financial mission. Let's get on these fine real financial things. See, I build shops online. So when you walking past a shop that's not online, they paying rent there. I get to keep that. See, I'm ahead of the game, man. Everybody going not everybody even shopping on the internet shit. But man, listen, I'm telling you. It's so many sites, so many ways to make money on the internet. When you see, when I see, it hurt me, I got to share the knowledge. Even though y'all don't support me and don't, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I go to the next level so I can throw y'all some game to get to where y'all at. To help everybody out. Y'all letting these hating ass broke niggas that don't want nothing from y'all take men from y'all. That ain't gave y'all something. That's that's offering something to the community. And maybe that's the conspiracy. Maybe that's what the problem is. It's a bum. Where, man, y'all niggas ain't found one motherfucking um, informant. And nigga, the statistics say, just like prison, nigga, one out, nigga, one out of five black men is going, at, going to prison. One out of four black men... Or informants and snitches. That's the statistics. That means one nigga, a couple, you got a couple niggas in your group that got some situation where they telling the police already to keep some charges off. They don't just let you keep the charges off. And I know I'm going in different places, but boy, you got to be that smart. You got to know how everything works out here. That's what being a man is. An understanding. You see what I'm saying? These bitches just run around, bro, and they not own no understanding, so they don't have... Don't come to the table with any deals that's going to help everybody. That's why we have a dilemma with our baby mamas. That's why bitch, you, this bitch have a baby by. You got to do what I say. Bitch, 